Here we have a film to show you how to use the copy tools in DoubleCAD. So I'm going to draw um, a rectangle which I'm going to make uh, 4 by 3 millimeters. And I'm going to go up here, I'm going to right click and click on to copy. And there's my copy tools. The thing to remember with the copying tools, you always select the object first and then the type of copy you want. So if I select that, very first one I'm going to do is linear copy. Now in linear copy, I'm going to define the distance I want between each object. So perhaps I'll say I want them to be eight millimeters apart. I'm going to hit tab and go into the Y step. Now because I want these horizontal and from uh, left to right, I'm going to type in a positive number, but it's going to be naught because I don't want it going up or down. I've not got any height, so the Z will stay naught, and the sets will say, however many I want, six. Hit return. Let's produce those. I think I hit five. You always get the number you typed in rather than, you don't get an extra number, you get the number you've, you've typed in at the end, so I must have done five now. So Control Z takes me back. The second linear copy is the linear fit copy. Now in this one, instead of specifying the distance between each object, I specify the overall distance and then the number of objects that I want to be placed evenly within that distance. So on here I can type in say, uh, what do I say, type in 38 millimeters. Again, I don't want them going up or down, so I'm going to do naught. Again, I've got no height. This time, say I want six of them now. And there I have got six. So obviously I did bash the wrong key last time. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, evenly spaced in the distance. I'm sorry, I specified. Control Z takes me back. Next we have an array copy. Now in the array copy, I've got some uh, uh, rows going off to the left and rows going down. So in the array copy again, my X step, so going uh, across to the um, to the right, I can say I want that to be say five. My Y step, I want these coming down, so it's going to be a, a negative figure. If I want them going up, it'd be plus. So I'm going to type minus six. Again, no height. Rows. How many rows do I want coming down there? So I want four rows coming down. And how many columns going across? Well, I've got six. Okay, so that'll be fine. Hit return. And there we have them. The second type of array copy, so Control Z takes those off. The second type of array copy is the array fit copy. And that, like linear fit copy, you type in the overall size that you want your objects to fit into. So here I'm going to type in, say, 35 by, again, I'm coming down, uh, so it's minus 28. And perhaps rows, how many rows I want down? So I want, uh, I don't know, how am I going to get in there? Say so 5 and columns 7. Hit return. And it will space those evenly within the, the, uh, uh, the, you know, the confines I've given them. So they're quite straightforward. Control Z. And if we take that out, take that out. The next ones I'm going to show you are the radial copies. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a copy of this circle all around this circle. And this doesn't have to be a circle, this can be a rectangle, a polygon, whatever you like. And if you've drawn some sort of something with teeth in around, you know, you can just draw one component and copy it all the way around. But I'm just showing you the principles here. So I'm going to select the uh, circle, select radial copy. Now the radial copy will go around that dotted line. So I'm going to do Alt C to center it. And then down the bottom you can see bottom left there's those boxes. So I'm going to say I want four sets. And that's worked out what angle it is. It's worked out that it's um, 
90 degree. Now if I leave that 90 degrees, go there and say I want it 360 degrees all the way around, that's what I've got. So it's done exactly what I've told it to. You can obviously change the sets and the angles and whatever. Control Z. Next one is the radial fit copy. This is slightly different. I'm going to do Alt C again. I might make a mistake on this one. So on this one, I say I want the number of sets, but you can see down the bottom here, as I move this around, the angle and the rotation is changing. So if I say I want four sets, but I want them over, I'll just type in really, uh, say, uh, four, will I get four? No, let's say five sets over 180 degrees. That's fine. So I just want them around half the circle. That will do that for me. And I've got five around half the circle. Let's go back to the rectangle. And we'll put another rectangle here as well. Now, this is the mirror copy. So if I select that, oops, sorry. If I select that and choose mirror copy, if I do, what I've got to do now is draw a line for that box to be mirrored on. So if I just draw any old line, I'll show you. That's what it does. However, I could use some sort of object to snap to it to give me that line. So again, mirror copy. I could snap to that point there with uh, Alt V and that line there with Alt V. That give me a copy there, which is exactly half from there to there and there to there. So with the mirror copy, sometimes it's an idea to set something up that you know that you uh, that you can snap to to get your copy in exactly the right position. Uh, lastly, with these copying tools here, we've got this, uh, this thing here, the vector copy, so I just click on here, and this is really quite straightforward, that will copy that over there. Oh, that will copy that over there. The other way to copy single features, if you just want one somewhere else, if you click on, so you've picked it up and you're going to move it, um, if you put your finger on control, you'll see that little cross comes, that's an extra left click, that will just copy you one, one copy. Another way of making copies is to right click and go make copy, and that means that each time I take that over there, I've got a copy of it, and each time I take that over there. That could be useful if you had one object up here that you needed to copy a number of times. You know, if you had, I don't know, some sort of cabinets or something here that you had, to, and you had a number of them to fit into the drawing, you might want to put one on the outside and then drag them in as you needed them and still leave your original up there. And that'll keep working, that'll keep working until you turn the thing off. So you've got to come back here and go to make copy. And they are essentially your copying tools in DoubleCAD, very similar if not exactly the same as TurboCAD. Uh, and if you look in the book, uh, if you look in the manual, you'll find there's a few variations on what I've shown you there about things. You can make things get larger as they're copied and, and turn around and all sorts of bits and pieces. But this is the basics.